All right, hi, this is Ed from Noise Toys. Just going to do a little demo of the Mega Percussive Synth. Uh, it's a module I just built, and uh, I made the panel, designed it in Illustrator, and got uh, Ben at Resynthesis to make it, which is, uh, he makes some really nice panels. So, uh, designed in Illustrator, so I've got the template if you wanted to make one, that's fine. Um, so, the Mega Percussive Synth is three parts it's got a shell generator a noise generator and an impact generator and each one is designed to make a different part of the drum sound so the shell is the main sort of tonal pitch of the drum noise is the the kind of noisy content and the impact is the thump of the stick it's designed to give that uh, this is actually a triangle wave that's noise and that's a square wave um, so I've got it running from a sequencer that's going to trigger it. It also has a hold mode, which just bypasses the, all the envelope and everything and just allows you to set it, get a hold, um, holding the, the sound. So let's start off with a shell generator. Start off, pitch is set up to 12 o'clock there and if I increase the decay, we can hear there. And if you have a really long decay time, you get that kind of sustaining thing. Uh, pitch goes all the way from really low, almost LFO. Right up to the top of the hearing range, maybe. 15k or something I haven't measured um, so it's pretty pretty wide range oscillator which is really nice it's got a sweep control and that adds a bit of pitch modulation from the envelope so you can hear that so that's great for the pitch bend of a drum disco toms Helps to make the kick a, a bit nicer as well, punchy. Kind of cool. Uh, CV range. That allows us to bring CV input. There's an input on, the, on there, a jack input. So you can take that from a LFO or a sequencer or something. But also, if it's not patched... It, uh, it's hardwired to take a mod from either the impact source or the noise source and that can be quite nice so um, if I just turn the sweep down uh, set it to impact and bring the CV range up you can hear it adds a bit of a thump at the beginning if I change the impact an extra little uh, little impact there it's quite nice the mod uh, change that to noise and you can hear it's cool so that's the CV range and finally uh, we've got the ring modulator it's got a depth control, frequency, and balance. Great for more metallic sounds. like putting the sweep up quite a lot quite a high pitch and a really short decay gives some nice nice tones cool so that's shell uh, turn the volume down there let's go to noise turn up there uh, 
Again, there's decay. There's sweep. If I set it to low pass mode and bring the f So it's got two filters, uh, low pass and band pass mode. It's got a resonance, doesn't get self oscillation. There's a couple of mods you can get it a bit sharper resonance. This is unmodded at the moment, this is straight out of the box. And of course the cutoff. That can give us our hi-hat snare sounds. It doesn't quite go as high as I want. I'm not sure, maybe there's a mod that I can get it a bit higher. It doesn't seem to get right up at the top with the band pass. It's kind of still a bit of high mid in there. I'd like to get it higher to get a real crisp hi-hat. Um, finally, impact. It's quite a bit louder than the others. Um, again, pitch. Sweet and decay. This you can hear is a much shorter decay. So it's really designed just to give you that kind of punch at the beginning. And just to hear that in uh, conjunction with another one, let's add in a kick. Add in a bit of impact. You can hear what it's doing, that's kind of just adds a bit of a whack at the beginning, it's just really nice because the kick on its own is kind of a, quite soft. That makes it much harder. Right, so you can really create some crazier sounds. Finally, a main volume there. Uh, that only works on the line out. Synth out is uh, um, 10 volts peak to peak, I think. And uh, yeah, there's also inserts on the shell noise and impact if you wanted to affect them separately before they go at the line out. Maybe put a bit of delay on the noise or something. Cool, that's it. Well, thanks for looking at. Hopefully it's a bit of a good explanation about the different sounds that the mega percussive synth can make. <laughs>